Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're shooting something pretty cool. It's Hornady Subsonic 4570 with the 410 grain Sub X bullet. And here is the box for that 4570 Subsonic load. Flip it around, take a look at the literature. This is just a bunch of warnings and nonsense. Here's your literature right here. You can pause and read that if you would like. So I'll be really curious to see how these do. It says designed to expand at velocities as low as 900 feet per second. Muzzle velocity 1075. We will be shooting this out of a 16 inch trapper barrel. So we might really be seeing that 900 feet per second. I'll be really curious to see how this stuff does. Let's take a look at the ammo itself. Nice and clean looking head stamps as per usual with Hornady. It's got that big old red flex tip thing in there. We'll see how it does. And the test rifle today is my Marlin 1895 Trapper. It has a 16 inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX3i one and a half to five power scope. And bringing up the rear, of course, I have one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 4570 stamped right in. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady subsonic 4570 load and we did manage to capture three bullets I think I fired six trying to make sure we had enough to look at but let's take a look so we had one and also by the way here's the bullet there's one of the other bullets and then there's another one right there these two did not skate the table at all this one right here didn't skate the table until the very end where it landed so I'm gonna go ahead and count all three there's no caveats to that so let's take a look at penetration this one is it's right about we'll give it 24 inches coming on back this one hit about 33 33 inches and this one right here is right about 38 inches so some some decent variance in penetration our high was 999 feet per second our low was 948 and our average was 974 and here are those Hornady subsonic 410 grain sub X bullets out of the 4570. These things look like a mess. Let's talk about it. So weight retention, we saw 403, 400, and 409 grains respectively for an average of 404 grains. That's 99% weight retention. That makes a lot of sense. These things are going really slow, which they are meant to and they really didn't expand the jacket got all jacked up and that expanded but as you can see the lead core in each of the three bullets did not expand at all and that'll just lead us into expansion respectively we saw 0 0.86 0 0.83 and 0.53 inches for an average of 0.74 inches expansion that's 1.6x expansion but there's a little bit of a caveat to that it's just like you know pieces of the jacket here i'll tip this up that are jutted way out to the side individual you know pedals it's not like they're evenly expanded these things are kind of a mess so take that for what you will and now on the velocity we saw 999 for the high 948 for the low our average was 974 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 1,075 feet per second. So we were 101 feet per second slow on average. And with a subsonic bullet, I mean, who really cares? We want it to go slow anyways. I was shooting this out of a 16 inch barreled trapper carbine. So if we had a longer barrel, no doubt we would have gotten closer to that factory build velocity. And then on to penetration, we saw 24 inches, 33 inches, and 38 inches for an average of 32 inches of penetration. So if you're looking for a subsonic bullet that's going to just keep on going, this is your ticket. Time for final thoughts on that Hornady 410 grain sub X subsonic load out of the 4570. This is a very niche load and I'm glad we got the opportunity to test it. 
I'm really glad that I was able to actually hit the target at 100 yards with this stuff. So weight retention, really high, 99%. No surprise there, it's a huge bullet going slow. You're probably not gonna lose much bullet mass. Expansion, 1.6X, but a big caveat on that. It wasn't uniform expansion all the way around the bullet. It was a shard of jacket here or there that's just jutting out. So very ununiform expansion with these. We actually saw zero expansion with the lead core on any of the bullets. So just take that for what you will. Velocity wise, it's definitely subsonic. We are actually 101 feet per second slower than the factory spec of 1075. No surprise there, we're shooting it from a 16 inch barreled trapper, which may be a contributing factor to it going a little bit slower than factory spec, but it's subsonic and that's what we want with this. Penetration wise, deep penetration, 32 inches on average. Again, really no surprise, it's a huge bullet that's not expanding a whole heck of a lot. It's gonna punch through. So personally, myself, I'm probably not gonna use this ammo for anything. I, I don't really hunt with suppressors or anything like that. Um, would it do the job? Yeah, it's a huge bullet that's gonna hit hard. It doesn't really matter that it doesn't expand that much. It's already big from the start. So if you're hunting nighttime wild hogs or something and you're using a suppressor on your 4570, this will definitely do the job. It'll punch right through, that's for sure. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.